Hi Cancer, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So this reading is a general reading for the month of October for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Cancer. As a general reading, the messages may or may not resonate, which is why I suggest that you also check out your Moon and your Rising sign readings. Okay, so Cancer, let's see what energies are around you in the month of October. One more shuffle. Okay. Okay, we have the Three of Swords and it is crossed by the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Four of Swords, Three of Cups, the Hermit, a lot of introspection here. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. And we have the Hanging Man. Okay, Cancer, just give me one moment here. Okay, so Cancer, in your foundation, you do have the Ten of Wands, and in your recent past, so three months ago to current, right now, you have the Four of Swords, and you are being represented by the Three of Swords, so it does look like you've suffered some kind of heartbreak, disappointment, or loss. Uh, you had the Ten of Cups crossing you, so with this energy in your foundation in your past, what I'm seeing here is that because it's a Ten of Wands in your foundation, that does tell me that a difficult or challenging period is um, completed and finishing here. And you're moving on from it. And with the Four of Swords in that past energy, I do see this, you were experiencing a time of rest, recovering from whatever this loss was, this heartbreak was, um, some re inner reflection as well going on, um, thinking about the situation. And with it being crossed by the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is a very emotionally happy card. It's, again, the completion of an energy, energy cycle being a 10, but this is like a happy home, happy environment, being completely surrounded by people you love and are supported by an emotional fulfillment. And that's the energy that you have also related with you. So I feel like whatever it is, this Three, three of Swords represents this heartbreak, disappointment, this loss, you are... You've gone through the grieving period already and you are starting to move away from that. So you're healing from that energy here and you are doing it with the support of the people around you, which is beautiful energy. Crowning you, you do have the Three of Cups as really tells again about people, your friends, family, people that are very close to you, celebrating you, supporting you. Um, yeah, so it's a nice supportive, positive card for you. You have the Hermit here, another card of reflection. This is a bit of, so it does look like you are going to be continuing to reflect, uh, continuing to just think about the next stages, next steps. So I'm not completely sure where the heartbreak is, was, whether or not it was related to your friends, family, relationship ending, or it related to money, career, finances, even like a change in house, uh, in your housing situation but whatever it is you are taking a moment to reflect and decide where it is that you want to go or how you want to carve out your future here with this hermit um, you have the queen of cups the two of pentacles the emperor and the hanging man here as well queen of cups this can represent you cancer uh, you are a water sign but this also can represent someone that's around you that is nurturing and supportive, usually a female figure, but doesn't have to be, just has this energy of the Queen of Cups. So again, something, someone who is very empathetic, um, that, that shoulder to cry on, she builds you up, makes you feel very positive about yourself, that kind of energy, very nurturing, mothering energy here. You have the two of pentacles here in the in, in your environment, so what's surrounding you. So it does look like you're going to be juggling a lot of things. You're going to have to make some kind of a decision or choice on which project or which thing you're doing that you want to put more effort and energy into. Because I do feel like there is this about you have the emperor here in your hopes and fears. And so it's, it's looking like with this being in the, in the position of a fear, what you're hoping for is that you're taking control 
and can take taking control of your life and taking control of the situation here and what you fear is that you're not going to have that that you're not making good choices and so this is why i'm getting this sense that in your environment with the two of pentacles that you're going to choose um, like you see in this card here, he's juggling the two pentacles. So these are like two different projects that are on the go. Uh, perhaps you're working two jobs. To, perhaps you're trying to juggle home uh, family along with your career. So you're trying to, this, there's this balancing act that's going on here with this. And so I feel like with this emperor here with it as well, you're making a decision on um, how to balance that out, but also what needs more of your attention and what you should focus on rather than scattering your energy in two different directions. That's what I'm trying to get out. <laughs> and then also in your uh, longer term future position, you do have the hanging man. So again, this is another card of reflection. So this is really, you know, you're taking a bit of a stand back from the situation. And I think it's taking a step back from this two of pentacles here and just trying to see it from a different point of view so you can look at what is going to give you the best long-term success um, in creating what you want to create and what you envision for yourself here cancer okay so cancer i'm going to pull an archangel power tarot card for any final messages from spirit but whatever this loss is that you've suffered cancer it does look like you're moving on from it and you're healing from it so i do enjoy seeing that i like seeing that um, with the exception of that, your future cards here are positive. But again, both both of these like future cards are self-reflection, um, looking at the diff situ a situation from a different perspective, gaining insight and wisdom through this inner reflection. So if you've already been doing that, it looks like you're going to keep doing that for the month of October. Okay, no, too many, too many. Okay, let's see. So we have the Knight of Gabriel. So this is about, it's time for you to take action. <laughs> Great passion for a cause and instinctively knowing just what to do. So that instinctively knowing what to do is that intuition again, where you're reflecting on things, but it does look like you have a decision that you have to make, especially with these two cards here in a direction that you're going in, um, rather than sitting on the fence and continuing to let to juggle multiple things because I feel like that's going to wear you down, Cancer, if you continue to have too much on your plate. Okay, so we're also going to pull an animal speaker and I haven't done these in a while. I really enjoy these runes. See what animal energy is around you in the month of October. Okay, so we have the wolf, Guidance. So I am going to read from the book because it's been a while since I've been pulling these runes and so I have forgotten some of the information related to them and I want to make sure you get all of your messages. So with, <laughs> of course, so with the wolf here and guidance, this is about you listening to and trusting your own intuition. Again, you have the four of swords, the hermit and the hanging man. Um, so let's see, by doing so, wolf becomes your guardian and guide. Your communications are stronger now and people will respond to your leadership more strongly. And again, that's where that emperor energy is. The communications of others become clearer and you will recognize undertones and body signals that may not reflect what you are actually hearing from other people. Trust your impression at these times because changes are occurring even though they have not shown themselves in the physical world and it is time for you to trust your inner guidance in finding your own new path and in taking control of your life. There will be guidance and protection as you take up your new journeys, Cancer. Beautiful messages for you for the month of October. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when the um, November readings come out. Thank you for joining me and take care.